You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. While this guy is, like Robin said, very, very blatant and um, just out there, it's really, really sad because there, these people in Africa, they are living in poverty and they're following this guy. And think about this. They're giving this guy their money. When you go to give you money, money will become the solution for all your prayer requests. The Bible says money is the answer of everything. Oh, yes. He is hawking things like Robin just said. What is it? The snake, he's got two kinds of oil. But he has two kinds of anointing or miracle oil, and I, he uses it to raise the dead and heal the sick, and it's yours for a small price at any one of his meetings. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. Uh, just like I promised that uh, I was going to analyze this video, miracle by miracle, part by part. I know that you may have seen this video before, and uh, this you may have watched up to the point uh, of this one that I want to analyze now, but I just want to take it, you know, from here. I want to analyze the resurrected baby. And there was a very significant um, statement that Buchiri made. And this is the problem that we have, and this is the problem I have with some preachers in this mod modern time. When preachers preach nothing other than money, you see, for me, that is a red flag enough. It, and I'm not saying that preachers should not talk about money, that God God blesses people. And uh, it is okay you talk about it, but then it becomes an abuse if that is the only part of the message that you have. And this is why you have people in church that are not Christians. They are not repentant. They can prostitute to make money. They come and pay tithe. They can become armed robbers to make money. They will come and pay tithe and give testimonies. They can become Yahoo boys and girls and uh, do, you know, rituals, kill human, offer all kinds of sacrifices in order to make money. Now, I want to start from that point. And uh, I allowed this part of this white couple talking about the, uh, 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 you know, the poverty in Africa because somebody made uh, reference to that. And I want to, you know, I understand that they did not make that reference in a way to ridicule Africa. But my friend, you don't actually have to deny that there is poverty in Africa. Africa would have been the richest continent, and in fact, it is the richest continent in the world. Africa is well endowed, but your leaders and my leaders have led Africa. Africa, Africa is now is dry, it's been sucked dry. Your political leaders. And some of these monsters we have on the pulpit are the problems that we have in Africa. So when those people, when that man made mention of Africans being poor, and yet Bushiri heartlessly is taking their money from these people, taking money from these people, these people are giving him money. Now, why I want to make mention of this is that the reason for all these gimmicks is nothing else but money. Please just watch this clip. And then we will get to the point where the uh, the miracle that we want to analyze proper happened in this video. But now we are crossing over from one year to another year. Remember, as I normally like to say, it's not just about crossing over. It's about who do you cross over with into another year. I hope God will send you to cross over with a great prophet. And remember, that particular night, you're going to have access to obtain this oil. This is an amazing oil called Angel Gabriel oil. It's an amazing oil at the moment. I'm praying for it on a prayer mountain. And you can have access to this oil, the anointed by God for a wonderful year. You cannot afford to end another year the same way you are. Something has to happen. Your life must change. Wow, with these words, I'd like to say, I hope to see you in FMB Stadium. Right, we have an appointment with you. Okay, now, when you, when you analyze that advert, because I call it advertorial, Bushiri advertised himself, advertised his church, 
advertise its oil, telling you that it is not just enough for you to cross over, but it depends on whom you crossed over with. Now, at this point in time, you don't have to cross over with Jesus. You don't have to cross over with God. You don't even need to have the Holy Spirit. Just as long as you cross over with Bushiri, because he is the greatest prophet in the whole world. Who says that? Whose servant of God blows his, his trumpet? Jesus in John chapter 5, I think verse 31 said, I have that I bear witness of me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Now, but you see a man, a man, just a man. A man, let's assume that God called Bushiri and God anointed him. Now, does he own the anointing that he is telling you, his followers? And those of you hypocrites that will come to tell me that a natural man, a carnal man cannot understand the things of the spirit. Just, just, just imagine, just look at yourself. Look at what, look, look at what this criminal I just told you. That you, you must have to cross, crossing over, you know, is not just enough for you to cross over, but you must cross over with Bushiri. He is the greatest prophet on earth. And if you don't cross over with Bushiri, it means that your year will be disastrous. And for many years, many of us have not been crossing over with any of them. And we are still here. And we are still blessing God for our lives. Now, so he did that and introduced to you the oil that we do wonders in your life. And for this oil to be very, very uh, lucrative and attractive in the sight of people, it was not enough. The advert here was not enough. Something must happen so that people will view this oil as being authentic, as being the best. He started losing power. The foam started coming on top of his mouth. He went silent. Just like that. He went silent, just like that. He died. He died. He died? Yes. I was watching him. You has nothing. But the anointing that breaks every shackle of death proved to be powerful that day. Death was rendered powerless. Oh death, where is thy sting? They used the lion of Judah, Daddy. The lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah, Daddy. I told you, you cannot take him into your house. But you can take him anointing through the anointing water to your house through the anointing oil to your house. Before I say the few words I want to say in this video, I just want to make this uh, clarification. If I tell you that God has a stereotype, uh, a stereotypical way of doing miracle, I will be a hypocrite. I know that God can use anything as long as God is involved. He can use anything. God used the handkerchief that was taken from the body of the apostles and the apron that they wore, you know, in order to do miracles. Now, so God can use anything. I sincerely believe that. But mind you that the apostles didn't go about marketing those things. The disciples didn't go about selling those things because it wasn't, they didn't have any hand in it. See, the handkerchief that was taken from the, the you know from the body of one of them now the bible tells us it, it wasn't them that sold the hanky people brought the hanky and their faith was that if this hanky should just like what we analyzed yesterday if, if this hanky should touch these people there is enough uh, uh, power in them that will do wonders the apron the same thing now the disciples or the apostles did not go to china to import hanky and then, you know, claimed to have gone to the mountain to pray over them and came down to be selling these things to the people. Now, the miracles happen spontaneously and it can happen anytime, just anytime, anywhere. Just anytime, anywhere. But I just want you to understand, just like I said before the video played, that that advert or the advertorial that he did showing you the oil, the angel Gabriel, and the, this one now that walked in as the lion of the of Judah oil, you know, wasn't enough. So people would not patronize it enough. Something must be put in place for you to buy. And so at the end of it, now here Bushiri said, 
You cannot take the prophet to your house, but you can take his anointing to your house. So which means that the anointing that does this belongs to Bushiri. This anointing was given by Bushiri. Bushiri anointed himself, or as he called himself the greatest prophet, you know, ever. Probably he owns the anointing. He owns the anointing and very soon he graduated from being a prophet to becoming a god. And I guess that he has become a god to some of you. He has become a god to, to the hypocrites amongst you. He has become a god to some of you that have refused to open your heart of understanding. Don't get me wrong, people. I believe that God can move in any form. But what you have just seen is an RNG. And the problem with this is that people's hearts, people's trust, people's faith, everything about the people, you know, is on Bushiri. And that is why you will come to attack me because I am speaking this way. Your faith, your hope, your confidence is in Bushiri. Now, he has succeeded in brainwashing you that you don't know that there is a God up there. You don't have relationship with God, but you are you are struggling every day, every time to be in the good books of a false prophet. Bushiri is a false prophet. I want to believe that he was called. I want to believe that there was a time he started, he started well. But Mammon took over him. He sold his soul to Mammon. And you see, Mammon is a bad God. Devil is a bad devil. Once Mammon gets hold of a man or a woman, he doesn't let go easily. And that is why Jesus said you cannot serve God and serve Mammon. And it is always very rare for you to see a man who has been chained by Mammon to come out and denounce Mammon to serve God. It is always very rare. So all I can tell you in this video, before I come back in the next video, is that your faith should not be in anointed materials. I used to know, in, you know, in those days, people do come with olive oil, people do come with water, people do come with handkerchief, whatever you want to come with, you will bring it to yourself and the pastor will pray over them for those that want to use those things. Now, but the danger in this thing is that people are turning these things to become gods. We don't pray again. We don't, we don't seek God again. You know, people will, will be leaving their house in the morning and they will remember that there is an, you know, a handkerchief. They will tie it on their neck. They won't pray. They will remember that there is a lion of Judah oil and the Gabriel oil. They won't pray. They rub it on themselves. And as Bushiri may have promised you, that that gives you money. That that will give you money. Listen, you will tell me that Bible said that money answered all things. But not in the context of your preacher here. Money is not the answer to every of your prayer requests. If money is the answer to every of your prayer requests, mammon is your God. If every of your prayer requests is money, then you are a son and a daughter of mammon. Money cannot give you peace. Money cannot buy you salvation. Money cannot give you children. You cannot get, you know, you cannot bear children. You cannot conceive money. And so there are so many things that money cannot if you are living in a home and there is no peace, money cannot give you peace. Money cannot give you everything. But your preacher is telling you that when God gives you money, it becomes an answer to every of your requests. And that is why he is making merchandise of all of you and enslaving you to himself. Because you have been brainwashed to think that mammon is a good God. I will be seeing you in the next video. Uh, God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, please like the video if you do and uh, share the uh, the link with others. Put down your comment in the comment section. Until I come your way again in the next video from me to you. Shalom.